Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Yes, it is Sunday. This is going to be the only video you get prior to the start of Vlogmas. So I'm going to share a couple Vlogmas things. Everything will be linked down below from merch to the advent calendar to the Spotify playlist. It's all ready to go. If you've been following me on Instagram, you already know that because I've been sharing it over there. But yeah, it's about to begin. I also have some decor updates to show you. My family left yesterday, but right now I'm going to have some coffee, I'm going to read, and I'm just going to get ready for the day. Also, it's only like 5.30 in the morning, so I slept in. I have just been relaxing. Steven is up. It's now like going on nine o'clock. We had some coffee, we chatted, we watched some Good Morning America. We are Good Morning America people. Some people are Today Show people. No judgment. I asked on Instagram and we are definitely not the popular ones. The Today Show is by far getting the most votes. But we will stick with Good Morning America. All right, I wanna show you some updates around the first floor of the house that I made yesterday after my parents left. I was like, hmm. We're missing something, and I remembered I had bought this beautiful satin neutral ribbon, and I just felt like I needed to soften and bring a little sheen to a couple things, so I changed some things up. Actually, I didn't change anything up, I added to it. So let's go ahead and let me show you. What I ended up doing is just adding this beautiful, lightly wired, it's a definitely like a low gauge wire, satin ribbon to garlands and the tree. I'll show you how I do it, it's actually really simple. But like look how beautiful, like I curled it, it just woven in, it softens it, it makes it feel a little bit more festive. And then it shows up in other places, so like over the range, I like intertwine some coming out of that bowl with the bells. I put some, on this mirror, like look how beautiful that is. It just adds that little element that was missing. In the powder room, I just added it hanging down. I, this might be my favorite, but above the window, it's just woven into the bells. And then let me show you, let me show you the dining room. Oh, 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 oh. I put it here. See, it just added the last thing that was missing. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw our tablescape. It was like very dramatic for Thanksgiving. I've now just simplified it. These are all live greens from my local greenhouse. But on each end, I wove the ribbon through. I think this is beautiful. I just keep spritzing this with water every other day. It will dry out, but I'll just replace it with some new fresh greens and then add the ribbon back in, add the pine cones back on top. But this should last for at least two weeks, so. Oh, I also treated it with wilt stop before I even styled it for Thanksgiving. And then look at the tree. I added little bunches of ribbons. I think it adds what was missing. It softens the tree a little bit. It brings some lightness to it. I, I, it's exactly what I needed to do. And then over here in the pantry, I just added some of the ribbon coming down there, intertwined it with the bells. Another quick update is I picked up these wreaths at a small business yesterday. It's like a little craft store. They had bows on them, but I took the bows off because I like just the plain boxwood in each of the chairs has one hanging off it, and I just think it's really cute. All right, let me turn on the main living room light. With the bows in it, it just needed it. It makes it feel a little bit more Christmassy and festive. I like the lightness those bows bring to it. And then the other thing I did is I went to Michael's and I picked up some clear ornaments and then I filled them with dried baby's breath and dried lavender. This lavender I bought years ago at Home Goods, and I used it in a guest bathroom arrangement. But I just cut it up and I put them in these little 
ornaments. I also spray painted the caps gold because they were silver and that clear also gives the tree a little bit more shine. It's perfect. Look at that view. That's so pretty. I love this year. And then over on the mantle, I just wove in some of the ribbons as well. I feel like that was the finishing touch that was needed. Working with that ribbon was so easy. I'm gonna show you really quick what I did. So all you need for this is whatever ribbon you want. You definitely want wired so you can like shape it and pinch it and move it wherever you need to. If I am doing one for my tree, what I did was I took one and I didn't measure. This is probably like two feet. And then I just made one that was slightly shorter. And then I took a piece of low gauge wire. I think this is, this is only 22 gauge. It's really easy to work with. And then I just grabbed the center and I kind of just pinch it up like that. Let me show you again. So I grabbed the center and I just pinch it. And then once it's pinched, I put my wire on that center piece. And then I simply twist it. And since it's wired, I just pull those two pieces down so it will hang. And then fold. Fold in half. And I cut two little dovetails. Voila. And then I just tuck them in. Now, for my garlands, I didn't want the four, so I did the same thing with just one longer piece. I did that also for all of my garlands. But for the tree, I wanted the four tails. So I just did the longer and the shorter. And then, I don't have a use for this one, so I'm not going to use it because it's very well balanced. I just tuck it into the tree. I let them fall wherever they fall. And then some you'll see, I just bent the wire lightly and curled it around edges just to give it a little bit more shape and dimension. Here you can see where I buckled it a little bit. Here, up here, I don't know if that... Up here, near the top, I curled it. But just tucked it in and let it flow out. So, really easy way to add to your tree. Also, it's an easier way to work with ribbon as well. Super simple. I am getting ready to run some errands, but I thought I'd show you really quick. This is the cover art for the 2021 Vlogmas playlist on Spotify. It is linked down below. It is five hours long. It's updated with classics, with new releases. It's so stinking good. It's actually what I'm going to listen to right now. Holiday music to put you in the Christmas spirit. I love it. All right, we're gonna play it, and we're gonna shuffle it, and I will see you all in a little bit. I am back. I had to pick up my prescription from the CVS at Target, so I ended up also swinging by Walmart because I didn't want to drive to the grocery store, and I just needed a couple things for dinner tonight. So I got some produce, just some Organic cucumbers, some organic peppers. What else is in here? Some organic baby spinach. Some grape tomatoes. Like really just like the bare necessities. I'm gonna make some chicken fajitas tonight. Just something really simple and clean. And then I was at Target to get my prescription and they have the Myers Iowa Pine Dish Soap. I was able to get one bottle of the cleaner and two things of hand soap, but I hadn't seen the dish soap yet. So I hurried up and grabbed that, as well as the Myers Iowa Pine Candle. And then I got this really pretty notebook. I wanna start journaling every day. 
it's something I've really wanted to do and I want to commit to like one year starting December 1st. So I got this one. I love that you can just like do the date right there and circle it. So I picked that up and I picked up these really pretty pens because I just love the colors of them. And then some travel toothpaste and deodorant. I actually am flying to New York City for the first time in a long time. If you guys follow the channel, you know I used to travel for work like literally a couple times a month. This will be my first trip in like two and a half years or two years. So that's about to go down. I'll be in New York City until Tuesday late night. I am flying into JFK, also flying out of JFK, so that is going down. And then I get back Tuesday night and the next day Vlogmas starts. I'm just glad I don't have to start Vlogmas out of town and traveling, so that's a blessing. But I'm not getting home until like midnight. So technically I might be driving back from the airport when it's officially Vlogmas day one. So. That's what's going on. I'm gonna get this stuff put away and then I will catch up with you. Just ran up and I realized I haven't shared the bedroom with you. Steven did a good job making the bed this morning. He says I'm making it too complicated, but I picked up this really pretty tan, like fawn colored velvet coverlet and then have this beautiful Casaluna like knit blanket over the bed and then just these two pillows I've had and then this Noel pillow from Studio McGee. Just thought it like really brought together the bed for winter and made it feel a little lighter. And then over here, I found this really pretty blue deer at Target. They were $5, so I bought one there and I also bought one for over here on my nightstand. Then I did a little tiny pencil tree from Michaels it's like 70 bucks and I just used the Matte White Studio McGee ornaments and then I had these already and then added the same ribbon that I already talked about. Old trees from last year, I just thought they went well. And then over here I did garland. It's one of the directional garlands from Grandin Road. And then an old McGee and, uh, not McGee and Co. An old hearth and hand eucalyptus garland from like springtime. I wove that in. I did a ribbon coming down the side, a little lantern, just like jazz this up. We're in bed very early, so I wanted this space to feel a little festive. And then in our master bathroom, I had these two wreaths. If you remember, they were in like the breakfast nook area last year in the windows, I had three of them. They're on a timer and I just hung them vertically. It's really nice to have something in here that is festive and lights up at night. It's just really nice, especially when I'm taking a bath over there. It's just nice to have something a little different. So a super low key day, but we have Vlogmas stuff to catch up on. I still have to laminate mine, but here is the 2021 Advent of Kindness. Um, I have it linked down below. There are three different versions, so you can pick like which design you want. But one thing I did this year that was a little bit different is there are things to do for other people, but I think now more than ever, we've learned more about mental health and taking care of ourselves. So you are included in this advent of kindness throughout because kindness starts with you because you taking care of yourself can give you more capacity to do great things for others. So like my tagline says, take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind, kindness is free. This ties into that perfectly. So it's linked below, super excited to share it with all of you. I am getting advent calendars set up and let me just tell you, like whole different level of packaging from Ritual. So there were lights underneath this. So like the village is actually lit. And as you take things out, those all those windows will be lit up but how cool is that? I mean, it's unreal. And then the Beekman 1802 calendar is also lit. It has a little switch right here. Can't do it with, I can't do it with one hand, but it has a switch right here that turns it off and on. Like, that's rad. And then, we have the Value Spa 12 day candle advent calendar. We have the William Morris at home calendar here. 
Then from Mary Mary, we have the dog calendar, which is going to get set up here during Vlogmas. In the pantry, we have Dolly Parton and Sugar Fina. And then we have, of course, Chad's tea. Remember when you couldn't remember the name of the tea? You're like, <laughs> you said like another name yeah. instead of David's. So we have the tea. And don't you dare worry because, oh, I think it's over here. We have to get this one out. We have, for year two, the Woofers Advent Calendar. You know what this is, don't you? He knows what it is. Of course. It's your Advent Calendar. You have to wait till December 1st. So, we have his Advent Calendar, which I don't know. Actually, we might keep his over here. We'll keep his right over there. <gasps> yes, it's yours. Advent calendars are all set up. I'm also doing this Bring on the Merry 25 Days of Great Joy for Christmas. So I'm super excited about that. That's my devotional. I'm starting Silent Nights. All my books are linked down below. I shared the Spotify. I shared the Advent of Kindness. The only thing left is to show you the merch. Here is one of the designs merry vlogmas 1221 to 1224 it's the season for kindness and what's great about threadless is that you can actually go and choose your color so say you wanted this on a heather gray shirt or a black shirt you can go and switch all those out you can get them in sweatshirts you can get them in anything you want i really like it on this brown so that is one design and the other thing is, I totally have to buy my own merch. I just submit the design, but I pay for all of my own merch as well. And yeah, I really, they're just easy to work with. Read their sizing. Some things are sized differently. This one is super cute. It says, happy holidays, be merry and kind. It has like the little garland. And then my favorite is this one. And I love it in, I ordered a sweatshirt and a long sleeve t-shirt, but I love it on black. It says, be merry, jolly, and kind. I just think it looks super sharp. All of those are linked below. All of my other merch and shirts are there. Last year's designs are there as well. So help yourselves go share it, buy something. They also make really cute gifts. Like that one is just so cute. This video is short because you are going to be seeing a lot of me starting Wednesday. I am super excited about Vlogmas. We have some little surprises. We have some big surprises. Uh, yeah, it's going to be great. I literally can't stop smiling because I'm that excited. But I'm going to keep this short and sweet. And I will see you all starting Wednesday, every single day on the day for Vlogmas 2021. Get ready. It's going to be a lot of ways very simple, but in a lot of ways really special. So in the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon. Bye-bye.